Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So in the series of learning C++ programming language, in the previous video we have seen one coding exercise on recursion, right? So this is same, one more exercise we will discuss on recursion in this video. But before that, let me ask you one question. I will give you two options, suppose. One option is, today I am going to give you 10 crore rupees. Second option is, today I will give you one rupee only, but that one ru ru rupee would be doubled every day. Whenever you wake up, it would be doubled. So which option you will choose? Let me know in comment section. So based on this, I mean, see, let's see one coding exercise. The exercise is, you have to calculate the total amount of money that would be accumulated if you start with one rupee and double it every day for n number of days. This n number of days user will enter. How many number of days? At first day you have one rupee and that could be doubled for n number of days. So after n number of days, how much money you will have? This is the thing you need to, you know, calculate with the recursion. Using recursion, you have to solve this exercise, right? Like at day one, I have one rupee, right? Then day one, then at day two, it would be two. Then at day three, it would be doubled, that is four. At day four, we have number of uh, rupees, I mean the amount is eight. Then fifth amount is 16, something like this. And if number of days are suppose 10, so after 10 days, how much money you will have? Or after 30 days, how much money you will have? This you need to calculate, right? Using recursion. So pause this video if you got the problem and try this out. And if you didn't get this, let me just give you one simple hint, those who didn't get it. So suppose after 10 days, after 10 days, you want to find out. So if you have the money, which is on day 9. If you have that money, you can simply multiply this by 2. Right? To find out what money you will have at day 9, if you have, if you know the money that you will have on 8th day, after 8th day, if you have that thing, you can simply double it and you will get whatever the money at day 9. Right? So, try to think something like this. So, see. This is obviously what recursion. Here is one function. Again, same function I am calling and into 2. See, the function day 9, the same function I am calling and into 2. So, this is kind of recursion, right? And when to stop? At day 1. At day 1 because I have only money is what? 1 rupee. So, if, if n is equal to is equal to 1. I mean n is here indicate number of days. So number of days is 1. So n is equal to equal to 1. Simply return 1. This is the base condition. Otherwise this, this is the base case. This is the recursive case. Try this out. Now pause the video and try this out. So I hope you have done this. Right. Int main and uh, I am just calling like or Let's take a variable in total money and we are calling a function. Suppose we have a function name. Let's take money double or double money, something like this. Any function name you can take. And here we are passing what? Number of days, obviously. We will pass number of days. Because the money, because here is, at starting we have only one rupee. That is why no need to pass the money. If suppose I say at uh, day one you have 10 rupees and for 15 days you have to double. Like 10 rupees at day two it will become 20, right? In that case, you have to pass in this function the money you have at one day, I mean first day. But here we have only one rupee, so no need to pass that thing. So money double here, simply we are passing int n. Int n means number of days. Right, so let's please, uh, you know, ask from the user to enter number of days. Number of days and simply pass number of days here in money double in this. Return 0 and whatever it will return, obviously we will store that in a variable total money. And we will simply print that total money and the name is money double. And we will simply print whatever the total money is. That's it. But obviously you have to define that function first, right? So, what you are going to return in this function? Return just 2 into whatever the money you will have on the previous day. 
So number of days are x, so on x minus 1 day. So let's call this function money double for x minus 1. That's it. I hope you got this. But obviously base case that is crucial. If this uh, x equal to equal to 1, simply return 1. Because under one, I mean day first we have only 1 rupee. Right, so return 1 only. Okay, there is an error. You have to first take this variable as well, now, int n before using it. Okay, here, see the error. What silly mistake I'm doing now. While calling, obviously, we will not write down that data type of uh, the argument you are passing. Simply the argument will pass, right? So, silly mistakes. Ho jati. Let's run this. And see, enter number of days. Suppose I am entering number of days 5. So, after 5, uh, after 5th day, I will have 16 rupees. And that's correct. If I run this again, suppose, if I run this, now see, you see here, after 15 days, you will have this much money. After 30 days, see, after 15 days, you have only 16,000 rupees only. Let's see after 30 days. What do you think? How much money you will have? See, this is around 5 crore I guess. No, it's actually 53 crore. Now which option you will choose? First or second? So I, this is, you know, power of compounding. Those who are in the stock market, I mean, uh, those who knows this, what is compounding and all. So I, I hope you got this logic, right? You can dry run this. Just write down this on a piece of paper and dry run this program, right? See, try to dry run. Don't just underestimate the power of dry run the program if you are beginner in this case. Because this would really help you to, you know, build the logic to help you understand what is actually happening, how this program is working. Not just you get the output and that's it. No. Dry run every program if you are a beginner, especially, right? So I guess that's it for this video. If uh, you have any more doubt, you can ask me in uh, comment section or if uh, you want to upload more such kind of videos like on recurs and more coding exercises, you can just let, let me know in comment section. Otherwise, from the next video, we are going to start pointers and reference and after that, we will be starting Whoops concept in C++. Right? So that's it for this video and I will see you in the next video. Then bye. Take care.